case will illustrate osteochondral allograft transplantation to the capitella. The patient's an 18-year-old baseball player shortstop who's had a long history of elbow pain and then significantly had an increase in his pain and decrease in range of motion with tenderness over the radiocapitellar joint. X-rays revealed a displaced osteochondral fragment adjacent to the capitellum. An MRI scan confirmed that this is an osteochondritis desiccans lesion of the capitellum that fragmented, became loose, and displaced posteriorly, causing his symptoms. The procedure begins with the patient positioned in the lateral decubitus position with the arm on a elbow arthroscopy arm holder. The anatomy is outlined and a planned incision is made midway between the lateral epicondyle and the ulna. Standard anterior compartment arthroscopy is performed with the proximal anterior medial portal for visualization. A lateral portal is created in a standard fashion. A synovectomy is performed and then diagnostic arthroscopy in the anterior compartment is performed especially looking for loose bodies. The capitellum is visualized and then a posterior lateral portal is created and then a direct posterior portal is created. This is also called the soft spot portal. We're visualizing through a posterior lateral portal and now we perform synovectomy. You can see the inflamed synovium and here we are identifying exposing that loose osteochondral fragment. Grasping instruments are used to remove that osteochondral fragment. We can appreciate the size of the lesion. Further osteochondral fragments are removed. Further soft tissue is debrided and the lesion is inspected. We can see that it's fairly lateral, poorly contained. The incision is then made in the skin, a split in the onconeus is then performed, and with the elbow flexed and with the shoulder externally rotated, open access to that capitellum lesion can be achieved. Further fibrous tissue is removed, and now we have exposure for a perpendicular approach to the lesion for an osteochondral allograft implantation. It measures approximately one centimeter using sizing guides. A drill is used to create a pilot hole in the exact center of the lesion. A reamer is provisionally positioned over the lesion to help assist with getting a pin placed exactly perpendicular to the lesion. And then a recipient socket is created approximately 10 to 12 millimeters. Next, a tamp is used to ensure that we have perpendicularity to the lesion and the appropriate depth. Next, a fresh osteochondral allograft is prepared for a donor. Instrumentation is performed extracting an osteochondral plug and this instrumentation allows insertion of the osteochondral plug in a gentle fashion by advancing the osteochondral plug into the lesion and then gentle tapping allows the implantation flush with the surrounding cartilage. Any fragmented adjacent cartilage is then removed and we see we have a flush insertion that's stable. Postoperative care protects the elbow for a period of four to six weeks and then gentle strengthening is performed three months before a throwing program is initiated return to play between six and nine months. Thanks very much.